Hey guys, so there's been an update to this case we covered four days ago where we look into how the Chinese now profit off of racism by exploiting Africans. For those of us who missed this video, let's get you up to speed. So what happened was, in this video we're exposed to how there is a booming industry for racism in China and how the people in this industry make thousands of dollars by exploiting Africans. BBC Africa did a documentary where this Chinese man was traced down to Malawi and he was seen making videos of children. He makes hundreds of videos a day and he sells them in the Chinese racism industry where he makes thousands of dollars. He was also caught on camera making terrible remarks about black people as well as admitting to have made one of the most controversial racist video that exists in the Chinese racism industry. What's it? Yes, you heard that correctly. Literally seconds after admitting he made that video, he quickly retracted his statement saying he wasn't the one who made the video anymore and that it was someone else who did. I think he slipped when he let out the information that he made the video and quickly realized that he could get in trouble for admitting to that, hence why he retracted his statement. If you want to check out the full documentary from BBC Africa, it's linked down below in the description. So now without further ado, let's move on with today's video. You know how I said in the beginning that there is an update to this case? Yep, there is. Man got arrested. A Chinese filmmaker wanted by the Malawi government for filming children reciting racist chants has been arrested. The suspect, identified as Luke, was being hunted down on allegations of racism and child exploitation after being featured in an expose by BBC. He was arrested in neighboring Zambia by Malawian police on Monday. Malawi immigration spokesman Pasquale Zulu, confirming his arrest, said the suspect was attempting to flee through uncharted routes. He was arrested in Chipata, Zambia, after fleeing the country through uncharted routes, Zulu said speaking to AFP. In his videos, Luke would make the children sing racist remarks about themselves in Chinese phrases they did not understand. He then sold the videos on Chinese social media platforms. In one video, which caused public opera, a group of children were seen reciting a Chinese chant which translated to, I am a black monster and my IQ is low. Spokesman Zulu now says that Malawi is liaising with the Chinese government to have Luke be detained a bit longer to allow authorities complete investigations. Chinese diplomat Wu Peng maintains that his country does not condone any discrimination against other nationalities and will continue cracking down individuals like Liu Ke and make sure they are brought to book. China has been cracking down on those unlawful online acts in the past years. We will continue to crack down on such racial discrimination videos in the future, he wrote on his Twitter. Luke, also known as Susu, is currently in the custody of the Zambian police pending official repatriation into Malawi, said Zulu in an interview on Monday. Malawi's Minister of National Unity, Timothy Pagonanchi Mtambo, also confirmed the arrest and expressed his happiness as the man had terrorized Malawian locals. Mtambo also spoke to journalists on the issue and said the man would be rightly treated according to the weight of his offense. I have to say, I am happy to hear that he's been arrested and it's encouraging to know that the government actually took this case seriously. Hopefully justice would be served accordingly and he would get the full extent of the punishment he deserved by law. I just want to get you guys updated as regards to this case. I'm going to be keeping an eye out for this one and following it like a hawk. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> He said this was mine. He said this was mine. video? Yeah, he's just looked at it and he said, he said on screen, oh, this was mine. This was mine. Oh,